Welcome to Free Academic English. I'm Geraldine, and today we're going to talk about the IELTS test, the IELTS. How can you prepare for it? I've come up with six steps for the IELTS. I'll put all the links and the resources that I mentioned here in the description. First step. The first step is always to know the score you need. You are taking IELTS because you need to certify your English and they ask you for a certain level. So if they ask you for an intermediate level, they will ask for a definite score. If they ask for an advanced level, they're going to ask for a different score. And that depends on what institution is asking for this test. Maybe it's for a visa, maybe it's for a university or a graduate program. So they will have different requirements. So that's the first thing to know how much you need. And also to know if you need to take the IELTS general or academic because there are some differences. Here I'm talking about the academic one. The general one is a little easier. Step two. Step two is to know your level, to know where you stand. Depending on the score you need, you will need a certain level that is approximately near the score you need. There are some approximations. And you can know your level in general and also per scale. I'll leave you some links for that. Step three. Step three is to confront the level you have with the level that is around the, the score you need. So here you have to make a decision. So here your level can be lower than your desired score or the same or higher than your desired score. If it's lower, you need to focus on your English first. That is very important. You need to focus on your English first until you reach that level that you're aiming before even thinking about the exam. If you have the level of your desired score or higher, then you can start taking a look at what it, the exam really is about. If your level is lower and you start preparing for the exam, you are going to get to know the exam, but you're not going to improve your English. That's why I say that you first, you should first go to the level you need. Now, how much is it going to take you to get there? It depends. But you can check that video on that. Once you get to the level you need, you can start preparing. That is step four. Step four, get to know the exam. Here, you can choose a resource you prefer. You can learn about the exam with explanations given by the makers, by YouTubers, by web pages dedicated to helping students with IELTS. You choose. I'll leave the links for you. This step is just to know what the exam is about, about how much time it'll take you, how many questions are there, how long it'll take each part, etc. Just a general view of the exam. So you can enter into the deep preparation of the exam, which is step five. Step five, prepare. A good preparation is to know the exam in detail. And this exam has four different parts, so you can learn about them independently. And also you can choose which part you want to spend more time in. If it's the reading, the listening, the writing, or the speaking. So again, from the same sources where you just learned about what the exam is in general, you can learn in particular each part of the exam. Understand each type of question, how to answer, how to answer every type of question, know what to expect, how much time you're going to have for every part of the exam. In addition to learning about the exam per se, there are some skills that will help you a lot with this particular exam. They will help you. These skills are paraphrasing, very important in every part of the exam, speed reading, 
very important for very important for reading and for the listening part too because you have to read quickly before listening to the audios and spelling many students of english have an intermediate level or an advanced level but they have trouble spelling words so spelling is something that you need to practice that you need to get used to that you need to be comfortable with that and it's going to be very helpful for all parts of the exam because in the listening you'll have to hear the words how they are spelled and then when you have to write the words you need to spell them correctly too and you have to write for the answers in the listening part in the reading part and in the writing part so spelling is very important in this exam this step is gonna take long especially if you want to do well in the exam because besides knowing every kind of question and the reading and the listening that are like the most common parts for writing and speaking you really really need to practice how to answer those questions how to answer each part in the writing for example how to answer the first writing because there are two writings and the first writing needs some preparation on reporting graphs and tables which is what they show you so it'll take some time if you want to do it well so expect to spend a good deal of time here i'd say at least two months when your level is similar to the one you need but the higher your level the less time you can spend learning about the exam once you really know what the exam is about and you have practiced your skills for it you can take a full exam or maybe two to know where you stand to know where your weak spots are and where your strong points are the cambridge series of exam is the best for taking exams with the result of that exam or those exams you're gonna take you're gonna have a pretty good idea of where you stand after knowing the exam and having taken the exam for the writing and speaking part find somebody that can interview you record that interview listen to it if you can transcribe everything you said and then with the rubrics you can more or less know what your what your score can be or many people also score for free or for a fee online you can find lots of people who can help you with that so if everything is fine just pick a date and take the exam but if your score is way too low then you should go back and see your weakest points and study those parts but and do, study those parts but not for the exam study english again study english again and continue practicing your skills during this process try to enjoy it too and for example when you're studying the listening questions that would be like let's say you practice for an hour but then when you're gonna relax well watch a movie in english british english and then you're relaxing but keep your mind active to getting the pronunciation getting the vocabulary but you're not studying you're relaxing but you are relaxing and studying that is very useful same for reading you can practice summarizing but then you just want to read the magazine or just a book that you enjoy well do it but also see what you find there that you can use for your exam listen to music pay more attention to pronunciation rhythm and intonation above all stay positive keep a good attitude and you'll go no way but forward thank you for watching please comment subscribe share follow me on instagram and i hope to see you soon